And we're back with part three of Cool Spot. Everybody's been waiting for it. Real talk with Cool Spot. I don't know if anyone's been waiting for it because we haven't posted any of the, the right. episodes of this in a thread yet, so we don't know if people are liking it or not liking it. I assume they hate it. I, I think people are going to find it refreshing. Uh, but I've been wrong before. I'll be wrong again. So, with the, with the premise of, of kicking it with Cool Spot, keeping it real with Cool Spot... Uh, Keep cool with cool spot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just recorded, uh, what did we just record? Chester Cheetah. uh, Uh, Wild Wild Quest. Wild Wild Quest. Part one, yeah. Part one. Mm -hmm. We we pile these things up. We, we, oh, we're sitting on a, we're sitting on a, basically it's an arms race. Exactly. Around the studio here. We're just sitting on a stockpile of nuclear Let's Plays. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, so we just recorded Chester uh, Wild Wild Quest. And there's been something we've been talking about. Uh, since we recorded that we, we thought it was pretty funny. Maybe you guys funny. didn't I don't think know. it was funny. Funny, but it's stupid. Uh, it, uh, it, we referenced Ninja Turtles. Yeah. NES Ninja Turtles. The first right? one, not the good ones. Um And yeah, so I was I was saying to the folks here in the in the studio mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that uh, cause Diaper Chris, what what did you say? I said you you made a joke about how that something in the game looked like the plants in the uh, underwater portion of Ninja Turtles, yes, and right. I complained basically about people complaining about them. Right, and I'm like, oh, they they get mad like they owe them something. To me, it's like you're playing a shitty old game and you try to act like it's you know. Right. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Either. Right. So, so that brought me to a memory of you know what you're getting into. Basically. Yeah. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you for picking me up there. That 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 uh, it brought me to a memory of I, I it's one of our peers. Our, our peers. It's our not peers. even a memory. He's still around. He's still producing content. He's still producing. Co- is he right. really? Yeah. Oh God. Uh, and I think people are gonna like him maybe more than we do. But I'm gonna say it anyway because fuck him. He's I an don't, asshole. I don't know. I think it should be silver But go, go ahead. Uh, say who it is. Angry video game nerd. Uh huh. So, every video game nerd does a bit on his Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, review, whatever he does. Yeah, I haven't watched him forever. No, neither have I, but this, uh, this was a long time ago. Okay. It's, it's really stuck with me because it, it was really stuck in my craw for some reason. Mm-hmm. And uh, he does a, a bit where there's a, a part of the game where you can't... Ju- there's a little, like... In Ninja Turtles. In Ninja Turtles, mm-hmm. where there's a tiny little jump. You can't jump across it. And yeah, the ceiling is there, so you can't jump across it. Everyone in the fucking world knows that you can just walk over that thing. And he goes on for like eight minutes. Like, oh, I tried to do the jump. It didn't work. Oh, I tried to do the jump. It didn't work. Oh, I tried to do the jump. Oh, Everyone in the fucking world. Try fucking... something new. I was... <laughs> Three! I was five when that game came out. I knew you could just walk over that thing. I want to say everyone in the... Shut the fuck up, Angry Video Game Nerd. You're not fooling anybody. Shut up. You're not I'm fooling fucking anybody. I'm going to take a diarrhea anybody. poopy on your head. <laughs> You're a shit pickle poopy. Uh, that, that shit, rega- irregardless, not a word. Unregardless. That, that shit, regardless. Uh, Without no regard. Right. It's terrible. Right. But if, if you're going to make fun of a video game, make fun of it for, like, reasons that are actually legitimate. Now, this won't be, like, a full solid episode talking about the angry video game, but um, while we're on the subject of it, something that was interesting to me is that he doesn't use emulators. What he, an asshole! He, he, what an he, asshole! He, he, calm down. He, he, calm, man, down. calm down. We're going to start down. a flame war. Right. I know. We what an trying, asshole! We're not trying to... Uh, he did a behind-the-scenes thing, and, like, he showed his mic, and, like, it's a really expensive mic, and he also... Shows his setup and he records straight off the NES. So, like, wow. he plays these stupid ass games. And, you know, the first inclination is like, wow, this guy's like pretty dedicated. Right. He's no, like he's an White. idiot. He's an idiot because these games are like pretty unplayable. And if you want to post content with any sort of regularity, like, you don't want to be sitting there like struggling with like fucking Bible games and like the game crashing like, on Action 52. Yeah. So like that's why he like he would only update like once a month when I would like watch him like what the hell takes him so long? Like, oh, cause his his method sucks. He's fucking stupid. He's an idiot. <laughs> Calm down. Alright, let's Calm down. And, it's, and you know I'm not starting a war with the angry video game. We, we, will, people, I, we will clearly <laughs> lose that war. People like this, this him. We are li- we cannot fight. No, we, we are living in a glass fight house. His army. We are living in a glass house through yeah. bricks here. So. Right. But alright, so I alright, let's get back. The the rest of these cool spot videos have been fairly positive to this point. Let's let's get back. Let's all right. Now that, Positivity, I got that, yeah. We got that venom out. Yeah. We got that venom out. Let's let's go back. 
Sorry, nerd. Let's just let's just start talking about video games. Video games. Let's just do what we do. Yeah, you know what I've been playing a lot lately. What's that? Good old Dark Souls on oh, PC. Oh, I love me some Dark Souls. That game is so good. So I also started Dark Souls, basically because of uh, Judge here. But no, continue your uh, experience. I don't want to steal your thunder. I, I was just copying off of you. Sure, but it's it, it's good. I like the game a lot. Uh, it, I actually started watching it because of one of the threads, and I don't want to give any cross promotion without getting some in myself. So I'm not going to say which one, but eventually, <laughs> it eventually, eventually, dick move, yeah, dick move from the judge. Hey, I'm going to be honest. That's what Dark Souls does. Turns you into a dick. Right. No. So, anyways, I actually here's the thing. People are going to think that I'm the. Uh, I'm full of it, but I'm not really having that hard of a time playing. I'm dying. I'm dying a lot. But here, here's the trick. Pick Pyromancer, right? I picked right. Knight. Bad decision. I'm not liking it. I'm I'm literally only like 30 minutes in the game. I just started playing last night uh, and then I went to bed. Uh, I mm. beat the game as a Knight. Uh, I'm really not liking the Knight. He's just too slow. So I, I think I'm going to start again. I've already started once over because I accidentally used my, uh, my gift. My, the gift that they get in the beginning, I used it on accident because I didn't know the button controls because they don't fucking tell you. Which yeah. is, again, charming, but irritating. Uh, you, you tried to... You no, know, you, you're not charmed by it. I'm legitimately charmed I'm not charmed by it. I don't know. It's just... Uh, is it because I hate all video games? Dark Souls... Again, I'm only 45 minutes. My, my opinion may change. I feel like it's pulling some cheap tricks, and it's not... But it's, I'm not as charmed by it as, as everyone else seems to be. I... Uh, let me, all right, so, that, I mean, again, I'm not far. Th my, my opinion might change. We, we might record Cool Spot Part 4, which doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. And I might be like, ah, I'm on board, guys. I love it. I mean, the, Like, it. the first, like, three enemy encounters that I've had, they all use camera tricks to, to surprise you <laughs> with, with enemies that, like, you would be able to see in real life. And, like, that really irritates me. So, like, I'll, I'll be walking by a doorway. And, like, obviously it's a video game, so I can't see down the doorway. Oh, all of a sudden, skeleton attacks me. And I don't die, obviously, because I'm on the first fucking 15 minutes of the game. But, like, that shit annoys me. Because it's not, like, it's not immersive. It's it's just, like, video gamey and it's schlocky. And oh, it, I love it. They're just, like, they're throwing enemies at you that, again, you would be able to see in real life. But, like, oh, here's a skeleton. Fuck you. Well, I and, don't like, feel... I feel like, to your point, they do do that. They do that. Not, all they've, all, I've been playing the game 15 minutes. They've already done that seven times. They do that. But they've it's done not that like, seven times. It's not like Resident Evil where it's, it tries to do that to substitute you mean it a for, jump scare. Like, for like a jump scare. It's not a jump scare. It's just like fucking an annoying yep. enemy placement. And they're I, doing it on purpose. They're fucking doing it on purpose. Happens, and I don't appreciate all right, it. All right. So it catches you off guard and you die, right? No, I haven't. Well, Nobody, it's, again, it's the first 15 minutes. Are you so on the, the skeleton? You're online when you're playing, right? Yeah. Okay, so somebody should have warned you. No, 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 not in the starting dungeon. Not in the starting that dungeon. doesn't happen. I don't remember. Yeah, they, nope, they don't, you do not. The, you don't the, get all the all the um, all the it. tips in the starting dungeon are, are uh, programmed by right. the developers. But it, anyways, the difference is I don't. It, it's the game is out to get you. Like that's the vibe. Right. Absolutely. So it does that. Where Resident Evil doesn't well, feel like it's out to get you. It's trying to be cinematic. Here, 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 here. Let me explain this. Let me let me get my yeah. two cents in here. Oh, sorry, sorry. You're the one in the middle of the game. So I don't think that the game is out to get you. I don't know. I haven't experienced what you've seen. Like a couple times, yeah, an enemy has like crept on up on me. But like the I'm playing the PC version, which is different than you guys. But it's actually exactly the same because yeah. it uses the Xbox like icons in there, and I play with a gamepad because the you controls are to. really bad for yeah. the keyboard. I can't really reconcile how to even fix them, so I just have a PS2 controller. So, the game to me, I I can't explain why I like it. It just feels it's, like it's, I don't I don't feel cheapened by any of my deaths. I it always feels did, like like I, I was to blame for it. I always I agree with you actually, and I played through the whole game. I just I, I'm just trying to refute Anthony's point. No, no, and and I don't disagree with you inherently. And I'm re like the, all right, so. That's the one thing I have the problem with. The other thing that I, I've been struggling with is I'm playing it on Xbox, and um, the way that the controls are set up is baffling. Yep. Yeah. It's, like, really, like, not well thought out. The learning curve for me was the camera. Well, and, like, the, the enemy lock-on button is, like, the right stick, right? Mm. And then, like, the light attack is the right button. Right. And the heal, like, the, the use item is... X, I think, or B. Yeah. And so, like, you have to do these, like, hand things that are, like, awful. I don't like, remember doing that. Yeah, no, it's real. like, 
Because, like, the first time, the, when, when the first little, like, You know you tip, can just lock on once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Toggle lock on. Yeah, but the, it, for whatever reason, it doesn't, it, it tends, my toggle lock on, like, will leave after, it'll stay, but, like, if I fight the enemy for more than, like, 20 seconds, it just goes away. Yeah. I don't know, it's being, like, really weird. It shouldn't do that. I don't, I, so I don't know. But, like, I'm making all these weird claw. I don't like that the, the primary attack isn't just, like, uh, right trigger. It's the right button. That's, like, well, why? You, you That's have a, dumb. You have a light attack and a heavy attack. Right. You also have that, a dive attack. Right, right, right. That's so, like, why isn't, like, the heavy attack just, like... Kick. Why isn't the heavy attack just hold down right trigger and the light attack is, like, press Tap right trigger? Yeah. Like, it's just, like... The control scheme is, like, bizarre. And I'm old now. I'm old. So, like... <laughs> you don't have time to learn anymore. Any, no. I, I want the standard controls for every game. Like, every shooter should be Halo controls. Every... <laughs> every dungeon crawler should be uh, fucking Elder Scroll controls. I, I don't I don't have time to learn new control schemes. When I'm going to die soon. And when you talk about I'm going to fucking die soon. When you, I don't down. have time to learn oh. new controls. Yeah, settle down. Settle when you down. talk about making the claw, like that reminds me of like shooting a gun in first person in Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. It's yeah. like you need to like do like right. all sorts of like crazy It's exactly how it feels. Surf patrol. <laughs> Ski patrol. I love, I love that, that movie. movie. <laughs> There's a part Simultaneous. The, there's a part in Ski Patrol at the end when they're hanging off the cliff and the dog farts on the guy. I'm pretty sure you brought this up way back when in Mega Man Zero One. Holy shit. Whoa. <laughs> and that's what we're about. Original content. <laughs> Look, I hope you enjoy our Dark Souls discussion. <laughs> if you want more, you can go to the other two Dark Souls threads going yeah. on. Yeah. Or the one that was gas. When I when I watch the Cool Spot video, I, I want to see them talk about Dark Souls. Here's the, here's the thing. <laughs> Call them no more Dark Souls. Here's the thing. As friends, we only have about 50 bits. We've got 50 bits total. Yeah. 50 we're we're going to be tank. running into 50 videos soon. We're, we're, we're going to have to start repeating bits. Right. We're out. Of, we're going to be out of fucking bits. <laughs> it's true. These are bits? Yeah. Yeah. Let's say that they're bits. We only have 50 as friends. Yeah, we only have fifty we, discussions. We've there's got the, like we've got like seven. We've got seven bits left. There's guys. the Dark Souls discussion. <laughs> there's the me complaining about Skyrim discussion. Yep, that's there's, a favorite of mine. Uh, also similar to that, there's the you complaining about Mass Effect discussion. Yeah, there's that one. Uh, uh, <laughs> there's the uh, me complaining about the angry video game nerd discussion. Yep, had that one today. <laughs> me complaining We're about people complaining about the angry video game nerd discussion. <laughs> And the me complaining about people complaining about games discussion. So I hope you've enjoyed the ride, guys. <laughs> and then the We're me complaining done. about being narcissistic discussion. <laughs> That's a good one, too. Uh, it, you know, again, if we can somehow bring it back to food topics, throw in another five discussion. Yep, that's <laughs> yeah, good. Throw, throw another yeah. five bits in there. Chicken nuggets. There's a 10% boost. We already yeah, had the chicken. Good. We already did that one. We did the chicken nugget <laughs> one. We've exploited the chicken nugget one to its fullest. We're fucked. We're out of bits. I, so what do you say about Cool Spot? <laughs> we already said it. We said it the last time. It's fucking. It's fine. It's it's good. It does what it's supposed to do. It's a good game. That's yeah, it's it's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Of its of vintage, bits. it is an excellent game. Uh, do you think somebody we wrote... have we as video game society have have we're past this? Yeah, fair. Do you think somebody's written like fan fiction about Cool Spot? God, I hope so. I, I'm, first cool. of all, I'm sure that someone has. I mean, erotic fan fiction. Well, I don't know about erotic fan fiction. Um, like, legitimately, like, what too. Do you, not what do you like find, as a What would someone find sexually appealing about? Well, th- there's, a, there's a thread going on on SA where it's uh, things that you found titillating as a kid. Okay. Cool. And people have, like, I've heard of this fetish before, but then this thread reminded me of it. Like, people, like, robots getting sliced into pieces. Oh like, yeah, yeah. That's like, like a very specific fetish. It's it's well, I don't know if it's really robots. It's, it's just, just like people I need getting like sliced in like people or That's robots weird. or whatever. It's like really I, I don't want to judge. I'm sure I've got some uh, oh, sure. Tietso Man of Steel, right? Like that Japanese horror movie from the late eighties with the guy I, I only know about the ring and he pulse. gets like a sliver of steel in him. And so he like starts becoming a steel man, and he like drills his drill. Be- his penis becomes a drill, and he like drills his wife. <laughs> yeah, that ha- that's a movie. Huh. Yeah, I watched it one time. I turned it off after like twenty minutes, but it seemed like you know a good thing to know exists. Hmm. Interesting. That's all. It's proved you know to serve me well because I was able to mention it here. Yep. So <laughs> my time with it was. We do have it. we have references left. We're out of bits. Yeah, yeah. We got references. <laughs> we left. definitely have references. <laughs> So, all is not lost, tasters. 
All is not lost. So if there was like an erotic spot fan fiction, I would imagine it would involve him being cut up because otherwise there's. I think it'd be cute. So that's there's nothing to cut. You can't slice him. He's too thin. So this is it. You slice him horizontally. I oh, su- I suppose. I beat it. Is that the game? That is the last spot. I saved him. So all my hard work, right? Right. All the. I know all the time and effort I put in, and what do they tell me? <sighs> This is bad end. Bad end. Spell out uncola to get good end. Well, are we going to do that? I don't what know. Did, no shapping for sp- audio though. You see it? God. Oh my damn god. It is. God Tommy, damn it. Tommy fucking Tallarico. Hello, Judge Reinhold here. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Must Love Coffee. I'm here to show you some things that Oofish Lout Diaper forgot to. The following was brought to our attention by Akisu03. In the intro screen, Diaper neglected to show you that not only can you twist the Virgin logo, you can also stretch it. Ooh. What a delight. Amazing. And finally, let's take a look at the ending that you get when you go through the game, not only on hard mode, but you complete each bonus stage to collect the letters spelling out Uncola. <laughs> Wah 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 w